Thank you for joining us. We'll use this video to show how to graph uh, the basic sketch of polynomials based on the multiplicities of the roots, which are given by the exponents of the factors of your polynomial. So here we have two polynomials that we want to sketch the graphs for. And really, we just care about uh, what it's going to look like in relation to the x-axis. But we'll look at this first one. We have f of x is x minus a, x minus b squared, x minus c cubed. And we know that a is less than b, which is less than 0, which is less than c. So what will that graph look like? So let's go ahead and set up our axes. Right? And I'm just going to come over here and label a b we got zero and then we'll say that c is over here okay so we want to look at what we have the first thing is to add up all our exponents and our degree of our polynomial in this case is six so we know that's an even degree polynomial so we know the end behaviors are both to on the left end behavior, y going to infinity. On the right end behavior, y going to infinity. So I know that the end of my graph looks like I'm going to infinity on both sides. If my um, multiplicity of a root is odd, I'm going to go through. And so for x minus a, I'm going to come right through and cross the axis. And then with B, I have an even multiplicity. That means that I'm going to come up to my root and I'm going to bounce off the axis. I'm going to be tangent to the axis. And then for my last root, I have an odd multiplicity, but that multiplicity is greater than 1, which means that I'm going to come over and I'm going to flatten out and then come back through my graph and once again be tangent to my graph, but also have a point of inflection. Right, so I know that I have a point of tangency at B because of the even multiplicity. I know I have a tangency at C because of the multiplicity being greater than 1, but I will cross through when that multiplicity is odd. So that's a basic sketch of the graph. I don't necessarily know what the minimum uh, values are or the, um, the location of those extrema, but I do know that's the general shape of my graph. Right. If I look to my g of x and I say, well, what's this graph going to look like? So we, once again, set up some axes, right? Good form is, you know, to say, hey, here's x and here's y. But we just want to right now focus on drawing the general shape. And so here our roots are S, which is negative, and T, which is positive. So I'll say, let's say that S is there, and let's say that T is there. So I have some roots, so now I'm going to go through my axis at each of those locations. If I consider my leading coefficient, I'm going to have a negative. So that means that whatever my graph is, I'm going to uh, have a negative end behavior. Uh, on the right end behavior. So I add up my powers and in this case the degree of my polynomial is 5 and so I know the general shape of my graph will look a little something like that but where the left end behavior is to positive infinity the right end behavior is to negative infinity. So now for drawing my graph, I have an odd multiplicity. That means that I'm going to come and wiggle through, you could say, at my S. And then I've got to come up and I'm going to bounce off of my axis. I'm going to be tangent to my axis at T. Right. So here I have a point of inflection and I'm tangent. And over at T, I'm also tangent to the axis, right? That I'm touching the axis at just one point and going down. So that's a quick look at drawing the graphs of these functions. And if I wanted to look at possible examples of what those functions could represent, I could come in and type my possibility. So I know x is negative, so I would say x minus let's say negative 2 
right? And then I could say x minus negative 1, right? And that's going to be to the second power. And then x minus, let's say, 3 as an example. And that's going to be to the third power, right? And if I plot my graph, I can see the general shape of my graph that matches. If I want to adjust my viewing window, I can move left and right for my viewing window. I can also right, make my viewing window a little bit smaller and we see the general shape of my graph for f of x. And right, I can come over and I can say, well, what if instead I wanted to graph g of x? So let's delete that and let's type in g of x. So g of x negative x minus, uh, let's see, um, so x minus and then the negative, let's say that that's equal to 1, and that's going to be to the third power, and then x minus 2, we'll say that's squared. All right, let's, you know, uh, let's say it's 4. doesn't really make a difference. We can then come and plot my graph, and I can see the overall shape of my function, see my intercepts which is really nice, but I can also navigate through, arrow to the left, arrow to the right, and I see the basic shape to make sure that I'm drawing the graphs correctly. So multiplicities come into play. I wanna know the overall power of my polynomial, the degree, and if it's even, my end behaviors will be in the same direction. If it's odd, my end behaviors will be opposite. If my leading coefficient, um, if the sign of my highest power is positive, then my right end behavior will be positive. But if the sign of my highest power, the leading coefficient is negative, then my right end behavior will be negative. All right, thank you for your time. Make sure you come back for your help in mathematics as you need.